Welcome back, friends. Memorial Day will be here soon, but it isn't just the burgers and hot dogs that stand a risk of being burned that weekend. Your skin could be getting roasted by the sun. So how do we stay safe? And what do we do if we wind up finding a spot on our skin that doesn't look quite right? We have Allison Straub with uh, a graduate, rather, of Frontier uh, Nursing University here with some advice for us. And uh, Allison, great to have you with us. Thank you. This is news you can use. Uh, temperature's going to be going up soon, okay. and uh, we're all going to be worried about this. So um, the list, looking over this before we came out here, there's, there's a, a lot to be aware of, really. There is. So tell me, tell me uh, I saw a statistic, 5 million plus uh, skin cancer diagnosis every year in the United States. That's staggering. Yes, and actually one in 50 Americans will um, have an experience with melanoma at some point in their lifetime. Melanoma, so, right. Yeah. Okay. So I guess uh, what I hear a lot is people, you know, find a new blemish or something going on and they just, they're not quite sure what it is and for whatever reason, it's not frightening enough or or they're just the education curves not there they don't take that next step and, and go in and see their doctor so uh, what, what's our best advice there um, so anytime you have a new lesion a changing lesion that's kind of where nurse practitioners can come into place um, it's very important that you get in and have that looked at um, mm. we are a great resource um, where patients can get in a little faster usually go ahead and get uh -huh. it looked at and determine if it's actually something concerning or not to be concerned about okay so, so. the nurse practitioner route uh, may be a faster way to get this done typically yeah okay. and nurse practitioners can actually look at it um, most nurse practitioners can even go ahead and biopsy it and kind of get really? the ball rolling per se okay um, and then if it turns out to be something concerning then we can go ahead and get you to where you need to be usually like a dermatologist um, to see. actually get it taken care of very good so. all right well what's our what are the primary uh, issues of concern here as we as we launch in the summer very soon um, so, you know, UV rays are carcinogenic, so um, it's very important that we protect ourselves, protect our children, protect our skin. Um, so some easy ways to do that, one is utilize shade. If you're somewhere you can be in the shade and away from their UV rays, okay. um, staying covered. Um, not only UV protective clothing, you know, light, light long sleeves, wide hats, right. um, and of course sunblock. Yeah. Um, we want to look for that SPF of at least equal to or greater than 30. You um, are probably tired of people going, I'm so surprised I got burned. Yeah, you're, you're going to burn, right? right? So take those preventative measures. Yeah. Uh, and UV rays, that goes for tanning beds as well, right? Um, yeah, actually tanning increases your risk of melanoma if we're talking about the most concerning type of skin cancer by 75%. Oh my so. goodness. Wow. Okay. Well, you have the list there on the screen. So many to go through. Unfortunately, time's gotten away from us. Um, what's the best resource for people in terms of learning more about skin cancer? Is there a, a place we can refer them? Um, of course, your primary care provider is going to be a huge resource. Um, there is um, plenty of online information. You really want to look for those A, B, C, D, E's of skin cancer lesions. They'll kind of tell you what's concerning, what's not. But of course, your primary care provider um, is usually your best resource. Very good. All right, Allison, great to see you. Thanks for the information. Thank you. And it uh, looks like Frontier Nursing prepared you well. So we're, we're glad you're on the front line of the fight here. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, anticipated movies dropping this weekend in theaters. We're going to take a look at each of them coming up in 36 Flicks.